Hi there and welcome to We Are The Church. This is a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. You can find We Are The Church every Monday through Saturday right here on our Funko channel. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson. I'm glad you've stopped by today and I wanna wish you a very happy Saturday as we spin the music and get started. Friends, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 42 to 45, we hear these words. And Jesus called his disciples to him, and he said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they consider rulers, lord it over them, and their rulers are tyrants over them. But it is not so for you, for whoever among you wants to be greatest must become your servant. Whoever wants to be first among you must become the slave of everyone else. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. This principle that Jesus is setting forth, the one by which the greatest, that is the leaders, the ones who have the most responsibilities in the kingdom of God, will show up again and again and again as servants. It's as though you take the traditional hierarchy of an organization, the pyramid in which they have the peons on the bottom and then some management and then mid-level management and then the leadership level and then the CEO or whoever at the top of the pyramid. It's, it's as though you take that and you turn it clear over on its head. And the clear expectation of Christ in the kingdom of God is that whatever it is that he's doing, is going to be the thing that the rest of us are meant to imitate. We become great in the kingdom of God by serving others. I think there's no better time than when we are trying to open up again after a, a shutdown like we had for this COVID pandemic. There's no better time to pick up anew the practice of servanthood. We haven't seen other people for a while. And frankly, it's a little uncomfortable after being shut in by myself for a while, getting used to having other people around and getting used to the way they drive or the way they speak or the way they act or the way they talk. Some of the time I want to say, hey, you're doing it wrong. I want you to do me this favor right now. And Jesus says, no, flip the script. If it's gonna get better going forward, you have to start by setting the example of leadership the example of being a servant of others, as I have set the example for you. Whoever wants to be greatest among you must become the servant of everyone else. Have you been thinking lately about how you can serve others? Might take some time today to just make a little list of the ways that you can serve humanity, maybe in some broad and general way, uh, through a, a worldwide project or contributing to a worldwide effort, or maybe through something as small as taking a batch of cookies next door to your neighbor and saying, now that we can be out and about again, I wanted to start the process of sharing the blessings of God up and down the street. Do sit down today, sometime, uh, sometime today, and make a list of the ways that you could bless people in real, tangible ways and begin the practice of being the servant of others so that you can be like Christ. And I'll do the same. And together, we'll go forward. We can become great and mighty in the kingdom of God by serving one another. Let's pray. We thank you, Almighty God, that you call us not to acquire more and more luxury for ourselves, but you call us to be the servant of one another. And uh, as you have set the example for us, so now we ask you to empower us to live as servants of the kingdom of God. Show us today those real and tangible ways that we can serve you by serving our fellow human beings. And we pray this today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, have a great Saturday today. We do have worship tomorrow. If you're in person, remember that we are masking indoors, and that's become a mandatory thing from our bishop. So bring your mask with you. We'll have extras if you forget. And if you're not able to be at the sanctuary in Orange tomorrow, 
then I want to invite you to find us right on our website or right here on YouTube. Uh, you can you can watch the worship there. So, friends, thank you for uh, spending these few minutes together. Remember, as you go out today to uh, uh, wash your hands, remember to read a psalm. Remember to tell somebody that you love them. And I will see you soon.